So think about it. If your whole body like clenches from fear and your vagina does that and your cervix, guess what's going to happen? You hold that in that part of your body. Hello and welcome to the Feminine as Fuck podcast. I'm your host, Monica Yates, a period and ICF certified women's life coach. And I help women to harness the power of their period and connect to their feminine flow. In these episodes, we will be talking about all things periods, hormones, confidence, health, food, money, sex, business, feminine flow, your brain, energy, and all the stuff that goes through our heads. You will walk away from each episode with new chicken nuggets and truth bombs, as I don't have a filter and I love talking about all the shit that people are thinking but too afraid to say. All right, bitches, today we're talking about painful sex. This has been highly requested, so it's about fucking time I did it. Hey. First thing I'm going to say is that if you haven't already enrolled in Queen Alchemy, you are about to miss out and have major fucking regrets. That's all I'm saying. Like major fucking regrets because the program is just so fucking good. Like I don't even know what to say about it. And you know what's just making me even happier right now? Today's a fucking vibe. If you've been following my Instagram stories, I've been like dancing around the house fucking naked all, not all day, but I've been tanning and then I'm like doing work whilst I'm tanning. It's great because in London it's not very hot, but when you're in the sun, it's like you're warm, but you're not sweating. It's just, it's my ideal scenario. You know, like that summer where it's like you can lay in the sun and you don't get sweaty. You don't need to jump in the water, but it just feels really fucking good on your skin. That's London right now. And it's a fucking vibe. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? You know what's making me happier? So I've started my coaching certification with all the women that I'm taking through. So I'm leading them through my certification. Um, it's called the Feminine as Fuck certification. Funny that brand is called Feminine as Fuck pretty much. Anyway, and the messages I've been getting have been insane. And I just got in a message with one of my other clients um, that's in there. She just evoxed me a message being like, holy, this is literally what she said. I'm going to get my fucking phone. Phone, hold on. Oh, wait, it's in here. Okay, this is what she said. She said to me, um... Holy fuck, Monica, I just had a client session implementing just what we've learned so far, which has been two modules. And wow, it was the most powerful session I've ever had with a client. Like I have no words. Full stop, boom, drop your fucking mic. So that's what I'm training these ladies in. And I'm training them in that because I lead that. And this is why I've said like my fuck, this is why I created the certification because I'm like, no other coaches are like te- like doing this shit. Like, hello. So um, you're getting it from the- from me. Like, you're getting, you're getting this from me. If you join Queen Alchemy, you're getting it from me. And then obviously once these ladies have finished their certification, like you definitely want to be stalking the fuck out of them. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. After they finish their certification, you want to be stalking the fuck out of them too. But that's enough for today. Um, so Queen Alchemy, make sure you get on it because enrollment closes on Friday. And if you snooze, you do lose. You do lose. And people have said to me, are you going to be doing it later in the year? Yes, I'll do it in probably September around there, but we're going to probably run it very differently. Um, and so you won't get as much of me. Um, so you want me, so therefore come and get me. Um, all right, painful sex. So hold on a sec. All right, we're talking about painful sex and I've got a fucking piece of capsicum in my, in my hand because I'm so hungry and I'm waiting for my fucking dinner to cook. Um, okay. Painful sex. So, um, I'm not going to go like, I mean, painful sex is a big fucking topic. So I'm just going to go through the main things that I see with my clients and, um, help you guys understand some, some reasons why you might be having painful sex. Now, first things first, as I always fucking say, painful, my fucking phrase for pretty much everything, it is common, but it's not normal. So let's say it together. Painful sex is common, but not normal. I don't care. Oh, shit. I just spat fucking capsicum on my mouth. That's how passionate I am right now. Um, I don't care what fucking doctor told you. It's just part of being a woman. It's just normal. No, it's not. Sorry. No, it's fucking not. All right? Any doctor that's told you that is fucking not okay. Um, I phoned my, my sister the other day. You guys are going to fucking love this. I phoned my sister the other day, right? And she went to go get a blood test because her period's been a few months, like, kind of late. It's been, like, quite a few months late, but she's been traveling a lot. So it got to the point where I have, like, a rule of thumb. Like, once it's three months, get a blood test. So I was like, can you go get a blood test? And I asked her to start taking Vitex. And then, lol, she got her period back, of course. You ask Monica to sprinkle my magic fucking fairy dust and then your period comes back. I don't understand how it happens, but it just does. I'm the period whisperer. I wonder if that name's taken. I should fucking take it. 
Um, and the feminine whisperer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself both those things. So she went to the doctor to get a blood test, and the doctor was like, obviously, like the doctor was like giving naturopaths a whole pile of shit because I sent her to my naturopath in Melbourne. Um, and get this, get this, guys. The naturopaths, the, sorry, the doctor says, you know, nutrition has nothing to do with your period. I'm sorry, what? Like, like what? I'm sorry. I just was, I actually was like, what the fuck? Like a doctor, a doctor said this. And like, and you know what she all said to Annabelle? You probably just have PCOS. You need to go on the pill. Annabelle does not have PCOS. And this is why I made that episode. If you haven't listened to it, please go do the episode called You Might Not Have PCOS. Because do you know how many fucking clients get told you probably have PCOS and you fucking don't? I've just had a friend that's fallen pregnant and she said to me on the phone last night, she's like, Monica, I thought that I had dysfunctional, I thought I wasn't fertile. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, my doctor said that I had um, dysfunctional ovaries or something or other. And I was like, babe, you've been getting your period. If you've been ovulating and having a period, right, you need both. If you've been ovulating and having a period, you're fertile. And she was like, really? And I'm like, oh my God, babe. Like, yes, this is like, what the fuck? Why do doctors say these, say these things? So I'm here to clear up some shit, ladies, because I don't want you guys being worried um, or thinking that like you're broken. If you have painful sex, you're not fucking broken. We need to work on you, but you're not broken by any means, okay? Also, I still have no pants on. Lol. People on IGTV can see. I've got no pants on still from this morning. Why do you need pants and ISO? I don't know. Um, literally I just bought, I just spent like 700 bucks on bikinis, 700 US on bikinis. I'm like, that's, that's what you need an ISO so that I can, so my Sagittarius self can feel very happy lying in that courtyard and pretending I'm in Ibiza or Greece or the coast of Italy. Do you know what I'm literally doing tomorrow? I'm going to Whole Foods to get like melon and prosciutto and a pile of like Italian foods so that I can pretend I shit you not. So that I can, I will show you on my Instagram story, so that I can pretend that I'm in Italy getting prosciutto and melon as my entree for when I go out for meals. Oh, that just makes my heart so happy and kind of also ache at the same time because I really want to do that. I'm just like, I need to fucking travel buddy after this because I'm going, I'm going to go fucking ballistic traveling. Anyway. All right. Painful sex, painful sex. First thing is the majority of the time with painful sex, unless it is a physical thing, which I'll talk about later is the, the reason why you have it is you have trauma stored in your body. So as women, we hold a lot of our emotion in our cervix and in the walls of our vagina. Now your cervix, if, you, if you've ever noticed this as a woman, if you, for example, are in like a sketchy sitch, your whole body will tighten up. Yeah. Well, your cervix does as well. And the walls of your vagina muscles. Now let's break this down. So, you know, when you, what would be an example? You know, when you've worked out way too much and you've held, let's say for example, God, I'm like hiccuping from this fucking red pepper. Good timing, Monica. Um, you know, when you've held like a fucking wall sit, or let's say you've done like a, like a, you've held a squat and the next day your muscles feel so effing tight. Okay. Why is that? Because you've like held the muscle really tight, like you've tensed it and held it really, really tight whilst you're exercising and the next day that it's sore. So think about it. If your whole body like clenches from fear and your vagina does that in your cervix, guess what's going to happen? You hold that in that part of your body and that causes trauma and actually causes your muscles to get really, really tight and the trauma energetically to get locked in those muscles. And, um, so that's why it hurts to have sex because you're actually just really fucking tight and your body is just like clenching on and it, and there's whole, there's, there's many different parts of this. So it's, it's a bit of a hard episode to just like, like rant on, but you know, for example, what also could be the case for you is that you have got all these like really, really tight muscles. And then one example could be that when you have intercourse, when your boyfriend, husband, partner, whatever, um, uh, cock goes inside of you, your, your muscles are really, really tight. And so it, it actually like hurts because you're so tight and like, it's nice to be tight. Like I'm quite tight. I like jade egg all the time and I'm also young. Um, but you don't want to be so tight that it hurts. And the other, the other side of it is that let's say you're having sex with a partner and then like, he's about to like put his cock inside of you and your body goes <gasps> and your body freezes. Yeah, well, if your body freezes, I need to like make sure I bleep these words out on my IGTV because it's going to get fucking banned otherwise. Um, your whole body will like tense 
And if your whole body tenses, your I mean, even just saying the word tense, my vagina is like, whoop. Um, your vagina, which your vagina is like the muscles inside that canal. That's your vagina. Your vulva is the outside. The inside is your vagina. Your vagina is actually going to get really tight and that's going to also cause painful sex. So trauma that's, that's happened and been stored in the body can cause painful sex. And then as I'll talk about in a, in a, in a little bit, if you're in a traumatic scenario, having sex, you're also going to hold trauma in your body from that experience. So there is so many reasons why you can have like painful sex. Even a little example could be like, you know, you're walking down the street and there's like a dodgy dude or dodgy chick for a second. Cause there's dodgy women as well. Like people, not just dodgy dudes. That's like a stereotype that we say like, Oh, dodgy dude. But like, there's also some fucking wacky women out there. So you walk past a wacky person and you're, and they like, let's say they like come out and jump at you. It's actually happened to me in New York one time and your whole body like clenches and tightens and you're like, fuck. Then you go home to your partner and you go to have sex and it's a bit painful. It's, it's not because something's wrong with you. It's actually your body's biology and it's doing the right thing. And you need to then, this is where, you know, having, um, jade eggs is really good. Having a, like a, um, a crystal wand, Doing in Queen Alchemy, I take you guys through different practices, like doing erotic massage. You can actually massage the inside of your vagina or get your partner to do it. It's just the same. And people can go, oh my God, but it's just the same as if you were to go get a massage to loosen the tension in your shoulders from being stressed all the time. It's the same fucking shit, but you're doing it for your vagina, right? And guys, think about it. The only reason why it's like, oh, it's your vagina is because your vagina is so taboo. But like, if, if I said to you, you're holding trauma in your knee, which happens, you're holding trauma in your knee, you would, you'd be, if I, and if I said, do you get, get, go get your knee massage? You'd be like, okay, fine. It's the same thing. Right. So like, just don't worry about the whole vagina thing. It's, it's honestly like, it's just a part of your fucking body. It is. Yes. It's a temple. And like, it's so sacred and X, Y, and Z. It's so totally is. And it's also just, it's also not, it's also just your fucking vagina, like, or your pussy and your ovaries and your womb. And it's also like just a part of your body and it is sacred, of course. Um, so, um, other thing is that when you're, I mean, there's a lot that I can talk about. So the next, I've written down a few things. The next thing I was going to say for why sex is painful is that you could be really tense when you're having sex and not fully surrendering. And like, if you haven't done that deep, inner feminine work around your sensuality and your femininity and being able to fully receive like even you just trying to quote unquote surrender you'll you'll find it challenging to receive like it's a whole deeper layer than that um and your body not just your mind has to surrender your whole body has to surrender and like if you've got trauma in your body that's not going to happen and I want to say trauma can come from like rape and sexual abuse and whatnot but trauma can also just come from you having I say this actually on my Queen Alchemy website page if you've had sex before which many of us have where listen to the rest where 99% of you has been like yeah I want to have sex with you and one percent of you is like no right that one percent that's no and then you have sex that can even create trauma you know giving birth is traumatic um, you know, putting your tampon on, tampon in for the first time in your life, that's traumatic. Sometimes fucking using a period cup can be traumatic. So it's really important that you're like doing your jade egg practices, that you're using a, a crystal wand, that you are constantly, I give you guys tools in Queen Alchemy to like constantly be opening and surrendering and relaxing the muscles in your vagina and your cervix so that you can feel like you can open and integrate that into when you're having sex as well. Um, so yeah, the surrender is really important. And so we do a lot of that and a lot of that in Queen Alchemy and all of my work, because also I was saying this to a lady today, um, part of receiving money is also being able to surrender. And part of getting your manifestations is being able to surrender. And there's a deep trip. There's a deep amount of surrender needed for your manifestations. And then for, to get money, you also need to be able to fully receive. Um, and that's about being fully in your feminine. So there's a really big, like, feminine component obviously to all of this stuff um and so it's not as easy as just saying like oh this is why like go go like fucking breathe a bit and then you'll be fine like no um the next one as well that some of you might have heard about is vulvodynia so vulvodynia is one of these things that like doctors are just like oh like we don't know if the, uh, like I've had quite a few clients with vulvodynia and it's like the I don't know kind of answer and doctors majority of them definitely make you feel like fucking broken um, and I want to say that you're not broken. So they think it's a mystery, but vulvodynia is no fucking mystery to me whatsoever. Vulvodynia, all it is is a physical manifestation of your energetic or psychological like 
symptoms, right? So it could be trauma. It could be, you know, that you've grown up in a um, household where certain religion, it was like, men are bad, do not have sex. Like, like your vagina is dirty. Sex is dirty. And so like, why would you not have a fucking vulvodynia? Like it to me, when I have a client that's come to me and that's their story, I'm like, babe, like, don't worry about it. It seems fucking reasonable to be honest. So vulvodynia is actually quite common. Um, and basically with vulvodynia, you experience pain during sex, but you can also experience pain in your vagina and also your vulva. Um, hence vulvodynia, um, even just walking around wearing tight clothing, sitting down for too long. Um, so and hormonal birth control can make vulvodynia worse and it can also bring on vulvodynia. Um, so with vulvodynia, it's the same thing as what I do with trauma release. It's you need to be doing um, like womb activation and womb clearing. And you guys ask me what modalities I use. I'm not, I'm not sure whether you're wanting them so you can fucking Google them, but like it's, you're not going to get very far. Um, you know, modalities I'd be using on you. It's like womb activation, womb clearing, um, lots of like different receiving exercises, lots of different surrendering exercises that I'd take you guys through. Energetic clearing, like Jada practices, using like um, your crystal wand, um, different meditation practices that also combine massage um, that clears some hectic trauma from your vagina and from your womb. And it can be quite a confronting exercise, but once you do it, it's like the most amazing thing you'll ever fucking do. And it can release so much trauma. And then I also do like a very specific type of anger release, not just punching a pillow, but a very specific type of type of anger release um, as well. And all those things that I use plus many others um, can really help clear this, this stuff. So painful sex, as I said at the beginning, Painful sex is common. It's not normal. Um, so other reasons why you have trauma is like subconscious trauma. This can be passed down from like, um, it can be passed down generations. So it can be your mom's trauma that, that's been passed on to you. It could be stuff from school. It could be mom and dad stuff. It could be religion stuff. It could be societal stuff. It can be your first sexual experience. It can be the way that a dude talked to you at school, like many different reasons. Um other thing is that if there is a pain, if there is a fear of pain or a fear of STIs or a fear of infection or a fear of pregnancy, fears are going to block you like no one's fucking business um, when you go to have sex and then that's going to create trauma. So it's really important that you get comfortable having those uncomfortable conversations with your partner because um, you need to know before you go into having sex with him or her, well, yeah, you can actually get this from her if you, if you were to have like um, same sex couple sex, same sex couple sex. Um, what was I going to say? So if there is a fear of pregnancy, STIs, um, infection, um, not being good enough, not performing, like fear of performance, like it's going to cause you to shut down and that will cause trauma, which can then cause painful sex in the future. So it is really important that you're also always, and this, is, this should just be like a blanket statement for everything, but if you're not already doing this, like let's start ladies um, and men, you should be feeling very safe when you're having sex. You should be trusting the partner that you're with. You should feel safe. You should know that like you're able to speak your truth. And actually, I want to say this one as well. If you've got a blocked throat chakra, you'll also have a blocked cervix energetically and vagina. So the two can also be related. If you struggle to speak your truth, if you have like a lump in your throat when you try and say like difficult things, you hate confrontation, you don't like drawing boundaries, you are a fucking people pleaser. That's all like blocked throat chakra stuff. And um that can also cause you to then have the, the physical manifestations of painful sex as well um, because your cervix is connected to your vagina. Fun fact, um, what was I going to say? Fun fact, women can deep throat quite well and have less of a gag reflex because, hello, oral sex. Um, and what was I going to say? And if you, um, oh my God, I'm going to tell this to my friend that just fell pregnant. I'm going to be fucking doing it. She'll be like, oh my God, but she'll also do it because we are so on the same page with this shit. So when you're giving birth, if you deep throat your husband or your partner or whatever, it will open up your cervix and help the process. So when I'm giving birth, I will be deep throating my husband and he's going to be a lucky fucking man to be getting that whilst I'm pushing a human. Actually, you don't push, you release releasing a human out of my fucking amazing body. 
Um, another thing that can also cause painful sex ladies is vaginal dryness. So low estrogen can cause vaginal dryness and the best, the best things to help your estrogen is orgasms, lots of healthy fats, orgasms, Vitex is really good and make sure your stress levels under control. But orgasms help boost estradiol, which is a healthy form of estrogen in our bodies. And we want lots of it. And that's going to help with vaginal dryness because vaginal dryness is like not a fucking vibe when you're having sex. And then also in your luteal phase. So sometimes in my luteal phase, I'll experience more dryness. Um, and that's also can be a reason for painful sex. Um, but again, like I really want you to reflect, like you should know whether you're dry before he enters you and you should then speak up before he enters you. Um, because you don't want to be having uncomfortable sex. So do not wait for like, you know, you to be actually having intercourse to then say something like you'll know beforehand. Um, so In your luteal phase, it will take you a lot longer to warm up. And I am going to do an episode on the different phases of your cycle. I will do that. Um, But it does take longer to warm up in your luteal phase and to get wetter and to get more turned on and to feel really open and ready to receive during sex. And so it is really important that, oh, that's my oven. Hold on a second. Dinner is ready. So yeah, it is really important that during that phase of your cycle, you're being a lot more gentle with yourself. And then also like communicating that to your partner is really good. In case you don't know, I've got my dude's guide to period phases on my website. And it's very helpful to share with your partner so that he knows what the fuck is going on in different phases of your cycle. Okay. Next thing that I wrote down is also, oh, for for vaginal dryness, also like drugs that treat depression, um, can cause it, hormonal birth control can cause it, and, um, cancer treatments can cause it, and any drugs to quote unquote treat, they don't treat, endometriosis, that can also cause it. And then if you have diabetes, vaginal dryness is twice as likely for those people that have diabetes. So that's also going to be a reason. So make sure that you're using a good lube. Coconut oil is a good one um, that you can use, or I actually don't use lube. Um, I will try, oh, oh, I know, my Hempel, they have a CBD lube, which maybe I should be trying. <laughs> they have a CBD lube that um, is all natural, so you can also use that one. Um, okay, the next, one I want, the next thing I want to talk about for painful sex is UTIs. So, I mean, UTIs are in your bladder, so that's a different, like, stream, I'm going to say, to your um, vaginal canal, but it can still cause painful sex because your bladder is obviously really, really close to where you're having sex. And when you have a UTI, your bladder is inflamed and it's sore and it's tender and it's trying to fight something. So if you have a UTI or the onset of a UTI, sex, especially deep sex, can actually be a little bit painful. Um, It's not nothing alarming. You just need to make sure that you you know, let your UTI clear before you have sex, especially intense sex, um, because it's not going to be so comfortable. Um, what was I going to say? Other reasons um, is I said the the pill as well. So hormonal birth control can completely shut down your libido, which you guys would know about in my from my episode. And then it can also cause major vaginal dryness. It can cause increased yeast infections, increased BV, pelvic pain. Um, even pain with having orgasms and then obviously pain with sex as well. Um, if you do have low estrogen and you're coming on to menopause, um, that's like a little bit of a different thing. Having plenty of orgasms is still really, really important. And then just get a really good quality lube. I know that some women, they, they kind of get like put onto hormonal replacement therapy because it just seems so good, but there's many different ways to balance your hormones. Um, which is a whole nother thing. And I can do an episode actually, if any of you that are listening, what an episode on, you know, the transition of going into that next phase of your life. Um, let me know because I haven't done one on it, but I'm happy to. Um, now, obviously, if you've got itching, burning, stabbing pains, um, you know, any unusual discharge. So we always have discharge. We always have cervical fluid, um, but it's anything unusual. If your vagina smells really bad or if you got a bad fever, that kind of stuff, then obviously you want to go to the doctors. But otherwise... If you're having pain during sex without those other like burning, itching, stabbing, X, Y, and Z, except for like vulvodynia, obviously you're going to like not be comfortable. It's not that you need a drug to fix it. Like, let me tell you, ladies, drugs do not fix things. They band-aid. They can take the pain away. They can cause temporary relief. 
but they do not fix the problem. Like your body isn't like, oh, I'm deprived of this drug, therefore I need it. No, absolutely not. So anything that you're feeling is your body trying to send you a message. It's it's nothing wrong with you. Your body is doing you a favor. It is working properly. If if it wasn't sending you a message, then that wouldn't be working the way that it, that it needs to work. It's sending you a message. So please make sure that you are honoring those messages by tuning in and asking yourself what you need. And I just want to say, ladies, if any of you have been through any sort of sexual trauma, I'm talking anything from a dude grabbing your ass when you didn't want him to grab your ass all the way to rape and you have not done work with me. This is your formal, informal, final, first, I don't know, slap up the ass invitation to fucking work with me. This is why I'm here. I'm here doing this work because I'm so passionate about it. And I've been through it all as well. So I'm not like, I'm not like saying this shit and like not having experienced it. And I know what to do. And I've taken so many clients through the painful sex process, through the vulvodynia, through the endometriosis, through the PCOS, through the healing with mum and dad stuff, the feminine energy, the sensuality, all that, the surrendering, the receiving, all that stuff. And I'm fucking good at it. Like I'm fucking amazing at it. And all my testimonials say it. Like I don't even need to like say it to you, but I also feel like I do need to say it to you. So who's messaging me? Oh, Oh, that's a very exciting message to be getting. Oh my God, guys, some fucking epic shit's coming out this week. Holy balls. Um, Make sure you're watching my Instagram stories this week because trust me when I say you will not want to miss out because something that we are now creating, one of the things that we're announcing this week is besides Queen Alchemy finishing up, I sat down and had a very, very long meeting. This is a tangent and then I'll come back to this painful sex lol. I just bounce everywhere. Poor Shelby. We had a meeting for two hours and I came up with the idea of the fuck, what's it called? (laughs) Shit. Oh, feminine as fuck beginners bundle. And the feminine as fuck beginners bundle is literally $49 and you are getting, it's going to already have to start off with like something, probably like 13 videos in it. And it's from previous like content that I made and it's literally, you get it forever. And all the videos that I keep adding in, you still get forever. So by the end of this year, there could be 50 videos in there and you paid $49 for it. Like what the hell? And I'm just wanting to do it because then you guys can like binge my stuff, uh, which is great. Nice though, because I'm pretty sure we're all getting bored of fucking Netflix. So you can binge my stuff. And then it also helps you to like, be like, do I jive with this chick to then know if you want to like be investing more? Cause maybe I'm not your girl. Totally fine. Probably am though. Cause listening to me. Um, so look out for that anyway. So please, please, please just like really start to honor when you're having sex and like that the sex is painful. Um, it's not a nutrition deficiency. It's not like, Oh, I'm missing at my body's wanting a drug. No, it's actually a body trying to tell you something. So have a little reflection time on like past relationships, on your first sexual experience, on how sex was talked about or not talked about in your family growing up. Um, what maybe even if you know of your mum going through anything, what is your, um, belief around sex? Like does part of you think sex is dirty? Are you able to talk about it really easily with your friends? Is there a little bit of shame around it? Um, are you really confident being naked? Like, are you just, are you like me today dancing in the kitchen? Like on your Instagram story, pretty much naked. I had a top on, but I wanted to rip it off. Um, if not, there can even be shame around like being naked and being vulnerable and just like, just lying there in full fucking vulnerability. That can be really, really triggering and daunting and scary. So, um, you know, working on all that shit, it's fucking important. I'm here for a reason, ladies, get on it. Stop waiting because let me tell you, once you're living the life where you're just like hanging out in your underwear all day and just like dancing around and so confident and like letting and wanting a man to just like take you because you can be so vulnerable, so open. And so in your like receivership is like, <sighs> let me just tell you, I'm very excited for when isolation's finished, put it that way. I am excited to be tied the fuck down and ravished the fucking end. <laughs> um, so final reminder, last reminder, get on Queen Alchemy ladies, send me a DM, payment option, like payment plan things are in FAQs, read the whole webpage. There's a ton of info on it. 
Lots of questions are already answered. Send me a DM with any more questions. If you miss out, you're gonna have to wait till September and we may not do it such a, like a high touch point. So this is the time to jump on it. Also, you have so much time with isolation to practice. So now is the time to get on that shit because it is such a fucking fun program. And make sure that you watch my Instagram stories this week because the shit that we're announcing, I like, oh my God, my stomach's just like, I have butterflies. I'm just like so excited. I'm so fucking excited. So make sure you watch my Instagram story because it's going to be lit. All right. I'm going to love you guys and leave you. I hope this like sparked a few little chicken nuggets in your head. I, maybe you had some aha moments. Maybe some things just clicked. Main thing I want you to take away is that you are not broken. And if your doctor says like the too hard case, he or she is fucking wrong. You are not the too hard case. I love the too hard case. Like that's my fucking jam. That is the peanut butter to my jelly. So if you've been told you're the too hard case, you are my ideal client. Okay. All right. I'm going to love it and leave it there. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll talk to you all soon. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you got lots of chicken nuggets out of today's episode. I would be really, really grateful if you'd be able to leave me a review and a star rating that you think is appropriate, hopefully five. And if you could share this podcast so that I can help more women live a life of flow and ease, I would be so fucking grateful. Make sure you tag me in it on Instagram so I can personally thank you because I know so many of my clients have found me literally because their friends have posted about my podcast on their Instagram story. And I just want to help as many women as possible. So by you sharing it, I would be so fucking grateful. And I'm sure your friends would be too. If you do want to welcome me, please do check out my website, all those details. And of course you can DM me on Instagram with any other questions. If you have any podcast things you want me to talk about, any ideas, any feedback, I am always open to it. And I always love hearing what you guys have to say. So please don't hesitate about that either. I will catch you on the flip side. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. 